The Market Grid is a powerful tool that allows you to view market data for multiple instruments within a grid display and along multiple tabs. When properly configured, the Market Grid can make it easy to organize products and instruments. This video highlights some best practices that, when coupled with the latest Market Grid features, will allow you to easily add, remove, and filter instruments for a maintenance-free experience. In general, TT recommends using just one method, either adding individual instruments or adding an entire product when populating contracts inside a Market Grid tab, using the Add Instrument Row right-click option to add instruments within the grid, using the Contract Filter feature to show and hide rows when maintaining product subscriptions, and using the product subscription italics display to highlight rows that have an active product subscription. When populating the market grid, you have two main approaches to choose from, adding individual instruments or adding all available instruments for a particular product. Note, TT recommends using just one of these methods in each market grid tab. You can easily add specific individual instruments to the market grid. When using this method, select Auto Roll to allow the instrument to automatically roll into the next contract when the current contract instrument expires. In this example, we click the plus sign to open a new tab and we will name the tab March Currencies. We want to only add three specific contracts, so we will double click the contract cell in the empty row and use the Instrument Explorer to select each instrument we wish to add. We can optionally enable the Auto Roll functionality to automatically switch the instrument to the next available contract once the current one expires. You can also create a tab that includes all available instruments for a specific product. This method allows the expired contracts to automatically roll into the next contract and will automatically add new instruments to the tab as they come available. In this example, we again open a new tab, but this time we select From a Product and begin searching for the eMini product in the Instrument Explorer. We now have a product tab that contains all available eMini contracts and will automatically roll expired contracts into the next available contract and add new contracts as they become available. Note, by using only one of the methods to populate the tabs, we can ensure that all expected behavior will function without issues. To help indicate that instruments are a part of a full product subscription, the instrument name in the contract column in new market grids will be displayed in italics when a row is a part of a product subscription. This option is controlled by a setting in the Market Grid settings and only applies to newly configured Market Grid widgets. What happens if you want to add an instrument row within the grid? TT has added a simple right-click option to place a new instrument anywhere within the grid. In this example, we will open the Currencies tab from earlier and right-click the first instrument row and press Add Instrument Row to open an Instrument Explorer and select the new contract. Our selected contract is added in a new row below the first instrument. You can also double click an empty row to add a new instrument. You can highlight one or more rows and use the Remove Row right click option to delete instrument rows from the market grid. However, removing one or more rows from a group of instruments added as a product subscription will lose the benefits of subscribing at the product level. So instead, TT recommends using the Contract Filter feature. As shown here, you simply hover over the Contract column header and select the down caret to open the list of all currently subscribed instruments. Then, use the checkboxes to select only the contracts you want to view. By using the Filter feature, you can be sure that any configured product subscriptions will remain active. To summarize, TT strongly recommends the following best practices. Use just one method, either adding individual instruments or adding an entire product when populating contracts inside a Market Grid tab. Use the Add Instrument Row right-click option to add instruments within the grid. Use the Contract Filter feature to show and hide rows to maintain product subscriptions. Or use the Product Subscription Italics display to highlight rows that have an active product subscription. For more information, refer to the Market Grid section of the TT Help Library.